Hi guys, good evening. Hi Rudy, hi Jose, how are you? Hi, hi teacher, fine, thanks. Okay, well tonight is our last night for this intermediate. Um, so we're gonna go over um, your final exam, but guess what? I have another exam for you today, so you can practice, okay? And then again, I want you to keep the links that I shared with you, that way you guys can practice, because the idea with more than an exam or more like a practice for you to check on your listening, for you to check on your reading, for you to check on your vocabulary and your grammar, okay? So I'm gonna be sharing the link right now before we're gonna start off with this little exam. It's gonna take us no more than 15 minutes, 15. And when you're done, let me know, okay? Okay. I will, I will share the link right now here with you. There you go. I shared it already. Tell me when you guys open it up and that way you can work on it. And we can start from there. Tell me when you guys are ready. Are you able to open it up? Rudy, Alex, Jose? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Okay, good. Alex, were you able to open it up? Rudy? Yeah. Okay, super. So you have 15 minutes, okay? Mauricio, since Mauricio just logged in, this is a link for a little exam that I want you guys to take. And you have 15 minutes to do it, okay? It's still short. You should have something like this. Let me share. Okay. See if I can. You should have something like this one. Start 15 minute quiz. So you should, you're gonna click on it, check on your audio and then just do the, the test, okay? Are you set? Mauricio, are you there? I'm ready. Okay, super. Yeah, DJ, I'm ready. Okay, super. Go ahead and start, okay? Good luck, you have 15 minutes to do it. That's the time that it gives you. So I'll see you back in 9.17. In my case, uh, they read 10 sentences. It's good. I'm sorry? Uh, you will read 10, se 10 sentences. Choose the word or phrase that best completes each sentence. It's, it's correct. Uh, did you click on the link that I shared? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second or the, it's the same. Is that everybody will get a different one? Okay. Uh -huh, because it generates okay. different questions, so I don't know which questions will you get. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Rudy. Okay, thank you.
Are you guys almost done? Are you guys almost finished? Yeah, yeah. Jose, what was your score? Intermediate. Mm -hmm. And the percentage? Yes. For, for listening, for reading, or for vocabulary? Reading, or... reading 78% and listening 70%. Okay, and... Okay. I'm just gonna give a couple of minutes to the rest who have not finished, okay? okay. We're gonna get started at 9.20. Wait, checking the, the final from the platform. <clears throat>
So, guys, ready to get started? Yeah? Rudy, what was your score? Tell me. Kenya. 68%. Okay. In where? Listening, reading, vocabulary? In reading, in reading 65. In listening, 70. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. What about the rest? What was your score, guys? Alex. Karina, Masi, Kenya. Hmm. Well, you can share the results later with me if you want through WhatsApp. Okay, the idea is for you to then again practice. The more you practice with different exams, the better for you as the exercises every time you do them are gonna be different for this one and for the one we did yesterday, okay? So um, let's go over the platform. If you guys have questions with any exercises, first we're gonna go over the final exam. Then when we're finished with the final exam, I want us to go over a, any other exercise that you might have encountered. Like today, I think Alex was sharing a, a, a little mistake here on the final exam. We're gonna go over that too. Um, and if you found any other mistake or you were unable to complete any other exercise on the platform, we can go over the answers, okay? Remember that it's a tool, so it's not like 100% perfect, so, but it will make it perfect if you guys like raise your hand and say, hey, you know what? I think that exercise 5.7 has a mistake, for example, and it's good that that way they can fix it on time and for the next generations to take this type of exercises, don't go through that. The idea is to polish, right, and to leave this tool the best, at least the best possible with no mistakes at all. Okay, so let's go with the listening part. I want to listen to the audio because I haven't done it myself. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio first, but I want to just make sure that I have activated the audio, <clears throat> the computer sound. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me listen to the audio. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Yeah. Four. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. 
Okay, now, um, <clears throat> Alex, are you there? Alex, okay, so going back to Alex, there's another mistake here with was and where, and I wanna show everybody. If you're talking about a third person, she, he, or it, then you would say was. If you're talking about I, the first person, and then the, the plurals, you, we, they, et cetera, then you would use where. If you were to translate a new apartment into a pronoun, this one would become an it. Yes or no? Mm. A new yes. apartment would be an it. It's a thing, right? So it's an it. So if I was to, instead of using apartment, I would, I would say dog wishes he, it were or it was. If this is it, would it be was or where? It was. was. Very good, what? excellent. So see, there's two mistakes here. So the there's a mistake because it's not where, because it's not plural. It would be different if the sentence was to say, dog wishes his new apartments were. If we were to pluralize it, then it would go where? It would be where? But in this case, it's just one apartment and it becomes a third person. So reason why we have to use was, okay? So I'm gonna make the call out on this one too this one okay okay teacher. <clears throat> but going on the answers let's check on the answers for this part okay um for number one jen likes her new apartment this was a tricky audio the first one because it did mention a couple of things but jen likes her new apartment because it's cheaper than her old apartment in the end so but it was a tricky audio do you have this one correct yes teacher. yes teacher Super. yes very good, because she said Jen's old apartment was more expensive. She can start saving more money. So this it's the indicator of why the answer is this one. For number two, Seth wants to live downtown because it's less expensive. No, it's more expensive. There are more parking spaces. No, one never mentions he because he works there. That's the reason why. So Seth works downtown. So living there would be perfect for him. That's the explanation why this is the answer. For number three, Karen's apartment is too small. She says, Karen lives in a very small apartment, which said cramped. That's like cramped, it's like very, very small. That's what it means, cramped. I think we saw this one, remember we saw this word in one of the presentations in class where we were talking about spacious, about stingy, about, and then we saw the word cramped, that it was like, the kitchen was here and then you turn around in the living room so everything was so small that's what it's cramped okay um and then it, the explanation for this one is doug would like to live on the first floor because he would have he would like to grow flowers or have some vegetables so most likely he you know that the, and it happens apartments the first floor of apartments have more land right they have more space they even have a garden and access to the the garden etc they have more space than the second or third level in an apartment so they have more space okay going to our second part which is vocabulary let's go over the answers for this part i love my neighborhood it's very safe Danger, no, or convenience do not match with the context of the sentence. So the answer is safe. And because these are negative answers, so yeah, you wouldn't like to live in those type of neighborhoods. I live on a very busy street, busy street. I can get a little bit, it can get a little bit noisy, right? Because yeah, busy streets are usually noisy. Do you live on a busy street, guys, or no? Is there a lot of noise outside your house? No? No. Okay. No? no? <clears throat> I live, I live, I live far away from La Tron from the beginning of La Troncal del Norte. But on a Friday night, like today, I listen when when the when there's a lot of silence because I live in a high area. I I can I can see all the traffic in that in the in that street a lot of traffic so it becomes noisy because people start honking like beep, they start honking or because the traffic gets very heavy so i don't live in a noisy neighborhood but i can listen to the 
to that noise when it's a Friday night, Fridays and Mondays usually. Okay, and our next one, number three, it's convenient to have parking spaces near my apartment. Okay, um, having parking spaces near apartments allows me to host parties and receive many of my friends, have cars, etc. It's more convenient. Yeah, could be. It's convenient to have parking spaces mm -hmm. because then people can visit you, right? That's why it's convenient. Comfortable, no. It's convenient for you. Dingy, it's not even related to, to this context. Or number four, our house is modern and very bright. It has huge windows cramped doesn't apply to the context or private doesn't apply to the context either so there's a reason why the best option is huge talking about describing how big the windows are okay do you have any questions in this part for the for part b <clears throat> no no teacher okay super let's go with part c for part c we have to complete the sentences using using not enough and the words given. Okay, let's go over the first one. Our apartment, it's too small. There are not enough rooms. Not space enough, no. Not rooms enough, doesn't make sense. This two don't make sense. So the correct answer is not enough rooms. Number two when people can see into our house people i'm sorry people can see into our house there is not enough privacy not privacy enough it's not good structure and not enough space doesn't go along with that with the context so not enough privacy my car is too small it doesn't have enough space not space you're missing something to describe how small it is and not space enough, it doesn't make sense. So the right one is enough space, okay? Questions in this part or part C? No. <clears throat> okay, moving forward to part D, as many or as much, countable and uncountable. My apartment doesn't have much windows or many windows? Many. Very good, because you can actually count them. Uh -huh. So windows are countable. Our house is as convenient as your apartment. As convenient when you have as and as to both sides of a word is when you are contrasting, when you have two things and you're trying to compare them. Okay, so okay. these are called comparative words, as beautiful as, as, intelligent as, as, and then you use an additive in the middle, but it, you need to have two objects to actually contrast or, or actually compare, okay? Coca-Cola is as, oh, right? As delicious as Pepsi? No, all right. Coca-Cola yeah. is not as delicious <laughs> Coca-Cola. I, I don't know, yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> Or Pepsi is as delicious. Are they this? Or Coca Cola is even better than Pepsi? Coca, or Pepsi? Coca Cola, Coca Cola is better. Is better than Pepsi. Okay, okay. So uh -huh. <laughs> it's not as delicious. So you take Coca Cola is not as delicious as Pepsi. So you see, you need to have two items to to be able to um, contrast them. Okay, for this one. And then we have modern apartments often don't have as much space as older ones. So you are talking about modern apartments and older apartments. So we're using as much as, but we cannot say as many space because we don't have another, another connector word. We need to have two connectors to contrast. Okay. Um, and then for letter E, expressing wishes. Let's go over the answer. I don't like my new job. I wish I my wish new job. It were more fun. It were more fun. But with Alex, we went over this one too, right? We it's the same mistake as the first one. If we were to talk about new job, is this a third person? 
is it, right? Because we're not talking yeah. about jobs, many jobs, right? We're talking about one job. So I don't like my job. I wish it was more fun. So this is the correct answer, not this one. Now, in this case, this is what the plat, there's a mistake here. The platform tells you that it's it were more fun, but the right answer, grammatically correct, is it was more fun. So we're gonna report this one, okay? Because this is the correct one, not this one. And I wanna tell you that when you analyze it this uh -huh. way, whenever you do the exercises, I don't like my new job, one job. I wish it was more it fun. Was. Yeah. More than one job, I wish it were. I wish they were, not even it. Porque it is third person. It doesn't go with were, it goes with was. Yeah? Right. Okay, but in this case, it that's the way they place it on the platform. We're just going to report it, okay? Yeah, okay. okay. For number two, I can't find my new cell phone. I wish I could find it, okay? I can find it, doesn't make sense. I find it, doesn't make sense. I could find it. I can't find it, I wish I could find it, okay? My boyfriend isn't in a good shape. I wish he, hmm, another one, see? He was or he were? He was. He was. I wish he was in a good shape, uh -huh, because we're talking about third persons, right? So I wish he was in a good shape, okay? So maybe we, there's another one too. Even though it's taking it here, mm -hmm. he was in a good shape, okay? Okay, so those are the ones to, so we found two mistakes, that's good. We were able to find them. Simple past versus present perfect. Let's go over these answers. Um, have you ever, and then the past participle, right? Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten. spoken? Have eaten. you ever, Spanish. and the past participle of all the verbs, uh-huh. Okay, have you ever eaten Spanish food? Okay, very good. Yes, paella. Have you ever eaten paella? Yeah. No. Ah, you need to try it. It's delicious. Uh, I will try. <laughs> it's, it's right with chicken, with pork with meat with shrimp with um all sorts of fish a meat chicken and pork so imagine i don't like this teacher <laughs> <laughs> why this is strange yes yes for that reason i never had tried before it's a, if we find yes, a picture it's a worse food <laughs> really <laughs> Yes, look, I look, think. Look, well, this one, this is not Salvadorian, mm. but in our case, not with, but if you don't want this, if you don't like seafood, then you can just avoid the seafood. But usually, well, in Spain, they use seafood, but in El Salvador, we put pa paella with chicken and meat. Aha. Uh -huh. More like this. See, this is like the type of paella we serve more than, I don't know, like this, right? This is the type of paella. More than with shrimp and, and you know, oysters and all those exotic uh, ele sea elements, okay? We do it more with oink, oink right? With nah. egg, with meat, with chicken, with, you know. I prefer the Maruchan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yes. For me, it's the worst. Really? I think there's yes. too much things together. Uh -huh. The flavor, I don't know. When I was very small, my mom used to make it every, you know, we had visits because my father used to work in guys. So every time he was, uh, he was uh, the, like the big boss in guys at that time, he had six different departments, right? So okay. every time a client would come from Israel, because we were in the middle of a war, right? So er, people from Israel donated a lot of, um, helped a lot with electricity at that time. So my father would, was the only one in guys who spoke English. So he would receive them. And my mom thought, hey, paella, we have to make them paella because, and I was like, but that's not Salvadoran. You have to make them Salvadoran food because they come from Israel or from Germany or from. So every time, instead of my father taking the clients to a restaurant, he would take them to the house. 
So my mom always prepare paella or garden cheetah, you know, but the paella is delicious. I like, I don't know, I like, I don't like seafood that much, but I do like, like the, the flavor of the combination of chicken and meat and pork and also chorizo with the rice. It's super delicious. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a, it's a great flavor. I don't know. And it brings me childhood memories. So. But I don't like, but like I was telling you, really, I don't like with eh, extravagant, with like the one we saw first with eh, oysters and shrimp. I don't like this. Uh, this, no. But I like with meat and chicken. It's not, so it's half by. <laughs> okay, so going back to our, going back to our, so, so have you ever eaten Spanish food? The next one. Yes, I have. I'm sorry. Yes, I went to a Spanish restaurant last week. So yes, I went. Not go or goes because we're talking about the past. And our indicator, always look for indicator words like last week, last month, etc. Look for indicators to find out if they're talking about the past, the present, or the future. And number three, did you like it we're using did so obviously our next verb is always on the present right so did you like um explanation okay yes it was delicious okay for an answer yes it were awful no yes yes delicious that's not correct so yes it was delicious and that's pretty much it for this part okay Moving forward, we still have two more. The future with will and going to. So over the answers. Uh, da -da -da -da. What are you going to do after class today? Yes, when we're asking, we always ask, what are you, right? What will you do? No, we always ask with security, even though they answer with will or going to. This is more like a trend. So the, the right one is, what are you going to do? Um, I'm definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. What's my indicator for it to be going to? Definitely. So it's certain, okay? So whenever you're very uh, assertive about an answer, most likely it's going to be going to instead of will. When you make like maybe, I don't know, perhaps you're doubting, you will. You will. When are you going to take, when are they going to take their vacation? Because it's a question it's going to. I think they will go on a cruise. I think it's making you doubt. Reason why you use will. Will go. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I think, I believe, maybe, you will use will. But if, if you're being very assertive with your answer, giving dates or giving more information, then it's going to. Okay. And our last but not least, part is this reading comprehension okay who wants to help me read because i haven't done it mm -hmm. who wants to read i am okay go ahead okay go ahead Mal. okay let me see Hi, Paula. Greetings from Bangkok. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great city of shopping. For yesterday, shopping. For shopping. Okay, mm -hmm. yesterday we went a huge weekend market. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes. And he priced are great. Things great. They mm -hmm. are not great. Things are not nearly nearly as expensive as they are at home i continue yes 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 please okay of course fernando tells me i'm spending too much money but you know him he never buys anything okay thank you, you. massey okay. thank thank you thank you okay massey continue reading please Okay, teacher, have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We just had a wonderful day dinner in one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered, ordered, it's correct? Yeah, ordered, 
orders? Fernando ordered green curry and rice. And I had my favorite dish. Me, crop, crispy, noodles, noodles? Mm -hmm. Noodles with cream and um, chicken for dessert. We had fried bananas. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the bus pass by. When they, when, I'm sorry that I interrupt. When, when Masi said uh, fried bananas for dessert, my, <laughs> ma, my imagination <laughs> went to canoas or Platanos en Gloria, I don't know. Yeah, right? frito, frito. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm thinking or as a empanadas. Uh -huh, as a dessert, because I'm thinking fried uh, bananas, right? Uh -huh, like empanadas could also be maybe a dessert. Okay. Very good. Continue reading, please. Let's see. Karina, you want to read one thing I've noticed? Or Jose one or Kenya? I uh -huh. noticed. Okay. Is that some restaurants make their Koreans less spicy for foreigners? foreigners. Yesterday foreigners. I told our this curry isn't hot enough for us. He smiled mm -hmm. and say and said some foreigners don't like Spanish food. Then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. So curry is very hot. Okay, time to stop. We're flying home tomorrow, so I'll see you soon, Rosa. Okay, so now that we've read this, let's go with the answers on the platform. Okay, so Bangkok, it's a good place for shopping. Is this true or false? Shopping. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can buy most true. things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, true. Bangkok is a great city for shopping, was uh, what we read. You can buy most things except clothes in the market. Um, you can buy most things except clothes in the market. Is this correct or is it false? What do you guys have? It's false. False. Okay, because it, they said you can buy most things, especially clothes. Very good. Okay, number three, the prices in the market are very reasonable. So that's affordable. Is this true or is it false? True. Very good, because the explanation we read, the prices are great. Things here are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Okay. What about me, Krav, is the Thai name for green curry? False. False, because me crab is crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. Okay. And number five, all foreign visitors love Thailand's hot and spicy food. False. False. It is false. Uh -huh, because according to the article, some foreigners don't like spicy food. And it happens. Like, I don't know you guys, but for example, I don't imagine myself living in Mexico. I don't like, in my case, I don't, I don't like a uh, pepper or I don't know, like hot, you know, spicy or hot food. I don't know, but it's because I don't like it. What about you guys? Do you like spicy food and hot food? Do you like chile a lot? Yes, in my case, yes. I, I like a lot. Yes. Love it? I like it. In my case, yeah, like a, little, a little bit. A little bit, okay. But not like <laughs> super hot. No. Only no, eat, no. <laughs> for, in, in my yes. case, only I eat two or three uh, chiltepe peppers uh -huh. with soap, with soap in the with soap. soup. But not there's a there's a there's a um, sauce that I saw in the supermarket. I don't want to say the word because it's very rude, but it was like boca de chucho, but it had another <laughs> word, right? It was like you know the Okay, so the thing is that I, when I saw it, I saw the person with the big lips like this. I was like, that must be the top in the ranking, you know, spicy, hot pepper that exists on the market. I don't know. Or like buffalo wings. Also, when you go like to restaurants, they have the sauces 
like from different levels. And there's one that is called 911 because it's super hot, right? I don't know. But I think spicy food, it's not for everybody's stomach. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like spicy food a lot? I love spicy food. Yes, okay. in my case, yes, teacher. I like the a lot of spicy tajin, tajin. food. Yes. <laughs> ah, but tahini is not that spicy. It's like a combination of lemon. No, and for spicy. example, <laughs> tahini is okay. It's delicious. <laughs> no, it's, it's not much, but for example, the com the combination, mm -hmm. the different. Um, uh, I don't know. For example. I don't remember the name of of that. Um, the pepper. No, I don't remember better. It's yes, super well. spicy. It's like super hot, spicy. Yes. Hot. Yes, sorry, I don't remember, but it's very, very spicy. I have to confess uh, that when I was a, a very small girl, uh, for Halloween, because I study at the American school for Halloween, here in my neighborhood, we would go in the neighborhood saying, queremos dulces, you know, it's fine, like trick or treat, Halloween, but we would say, queremos dulces, and all the neighbors would give us candies. But one year, my mom had a pepper tree. Uh, no, a pepper, yeah, it was like pepper, but they were like little circles, super small red circles uh, of pepper. And I asked my mom, what is this? And she said, pepper, but don't eat it. It's super spicy. Like you're going to burn your lips, she said. So I was very worried, right? So for that year, <clears throat> I remember we bought candelitas. You know the candelitas, the bubble gums? Have you ever heard candelitas? They are like bubble gum. Okay. So I, I unwrap, I unwrap the candelitas. I open them. And I, and I chop the pepper and I put it inside the canelitas, wrap the paper again. And then when the kids or my neighbors came, like, I was like, go ahead, take all the candies that you want. <laughs> you must imagine, right? So the next day, they remember that I was the only neighbor that <laughs> gave canelitas. I was the only one. Everybody else gave, you know, all sorts of candy. But I was the only one with canelitas. I got in trouble for that. And I remember that. <laughs> you know, the kids were like <laughs> oh, that's a great trick. <laughs> I know. So I was I was terrible, guys. I was super terrible. Imagine I was terrible. I have changed a lot, but that was terrible. Yeah. But I wanted to share with you because it brought me memories like the pepper. And, and it's funny because I don't like pepper. Nowadays I don't like pepper, but I did that pepper joke to my neighbors. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I had to share that with you. Uh, okay, so today is our last session. Um, guys, I had a lot of fun with you. It was a pleasure. I want to thank you, really. Thank you, thank you. Because out of 50 students that enrolled to the class, not everybody takes this class because it's not obligate. It's not an obligation. But I really appreciate, I really thank you for taking the time because it's one hour that you have to spend every day with me. Okay, so I wanna say thank you. I don't know if I'm gonna be your teacher for the next module, but I had fun with you. I have fun with you and I hope that I try to make the class fun for you to enjoy, okay? So I hope you had fun and you liked it. And I hope to see you in our next intermediate. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, You're thank welcome. You, You're welcome, guys. It's, um, then again, Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for being awesome students. You guys are great. And I hope to see you soon. And if I'm not your teacher, you have my WhatsApp number. Text me if you have questions. I have, you know, students in the past that were my students, now are my friends, and they always come in, hey, I don't know this exercise. So always feel free and have the confidence of asking me questions. Practice with me English if you want to text me. So, you know, feel free to text me and write to me, okay? I'm going to always Thank be you, there Jared. for you. Thank you. Okay? You're welcome, Kenya. You're welcome, Massey. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Mao. You okay. guys are amazing. I'll see you in the next time, okay? Bye, guys. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Good night, Bye, everyone. See you soon. Good night. <laughs>